Next question number 2. Construct a tangent to a circle of radius 4 cm. First, we will draw the circle of 4 cm radius. So, rural and let's take the compass. They, they have to draw 4 cm. So, from here to here, we have to measure 4 cm. That's it. Let's take the compass. So, we will draw the 4 cm. Okay. So here, let me draw that 4 cm circle, I got it, okay. So this is my center point here, it is visible I think, that is my center point, Whoa. so let me give the center point first, so this is my required center point, Whoa. okay, right, and now let's continue the line what they said, right, 4 cm from a point, and another line, from a point of concentric circle of radius 6 cm, concentric in the sensor, the same center point from the same center point we have to draw another radius with 6 cm that is the thing okay so let's go here first i mean sorry first we have, what is the we did by the 4 cm another circle we have to draw by the 6 cm okay that we'll do now so let, let's take the compass again 6 cm measurement we have to take 6 cm Take this 6 cm, yes, up to this. Okay, now let's take this. We'll keep this in the uh, same edge because same center point only you have to take. They said uh, clearly concentric circle. Concentric in the sense, so two circle have same center point. Uh, that only we'll call as a concentric circle. Understand? Right. Let me draw the circle of this thing. Yes, this together, it's coming. Okay. Right. We got it. Now you see children, here... Uh, all I mean okay measure and measure its length so they said clearly construct a tangent to a circle of radius 4 cm from a point on concentric circle so where you have to draw from point on concentric circle on the concentric circle you can take any point they said suppose I am taking this is O now from O to if you are uh, drawing this thing from this uh, uh, what is that uh, concentric circle I am taking the external point P so that is my external point P I mean instead of giving that uh, external length 10 cm we saw the previous sum now instead of giving the external point length they are giving another circle radius that's it and they asked to measure its length so we have to draw the tangent also verify the measurement by the actual calculation x will do that before that uh, for doing the construction i mean uh, the length of tangent we have to draw another one circle for that i'm going to draw bisector line bisector line in the sense we have to take first more than half so let me take the more than half more than half in the sense half above that's it half above i'm taking let's draw that so here I'm drawing, I'm going to draw. So here one arc, above, above the OP, uh, below the OP, like that I'm drawing, okay. That is your wish, you just draw like that. With the same radius, you keep the point in P, you just draw here. Let's intersect this together. Sorry. It is disturbing our thing, okay. I just extend this, yes, it is intersecting here. Next, here in the above above the OP also, we just uh, draw like that and it will intersect. Understand? Yes, sorry again. Yeah, it's came. Okay, that's it, Raja. Now you got uh, like a bisector line. Now we can able to draw the bisector. You take the scale and you draw the bisector line. Okay, you just keep it here. Now we'll draw the straight line from here. That's it. You just draw the straight line from here and it will intersect each other like this that's it we got it now it will make a 90 degree with the op that line definitely is making 90 degree with the op okay so where it is intersecting that is our center point m from the m i'm going to draw another one circle okay that circle for drawing the circle we need a compass now so let me take the compass so keep the compass edge in the m point let's measure the measurement p okay Let's check this on both sides it is a good i mean like uh, we, we have a correct measurement then no problem let's draw the circle for this okay now i'm going to draw the circle from the op again we are getting this problem huh? anyway no problem it will come yes let's continue this 
uh, yes it is intersected each other that's it now you see children where it is intersecting where it is intersecting on the first circle that is our required point a like that where it is intersecting that is our required point b okay now this a to p and b to p you join that is our required answer it is over okay you just join here i mean use a scale to join this uh, p a and uh, p b then you will get the required answer that is our required thing okay children i hope you people understand this before that they ask you to do by the actual calculation means the asking justification but justification we should join that uh, length i mean the radius we have to join so let's do this so it's okay it will take time yes here we go yes okay now we'll uh, join this uh, radius so radius i'm joining like that only okay you just write what they have given if you need it another side also you can join that's not a problem another side i'm joining uh, by the straight line a uh, dot line is better okay dot line is better for uh, showing clearly right now first internal radius i mean that uh, inside that small uh, circle uh, radius is a uh, four centimeter let's mention that is four centimeter and here also four and it will make 90 degree with the tangent and here also it will make 90 degree with the tangent that you don't forget okay and uh, from the external circle i mean the bigger circle is there now that is the length is six and means from o to p that is six centimeter that is also i'm writing now we'll go for doing the justification okay children okay all right i'm doing the justification now justification okay for doing the justification you should select the triangles on right so let's do this here triangle as well as i'm taking o a p okay that in a triangle in a triangle o a p o a p here a is 90 degree why a is a 90 because uh, radius always will make 90 degree with the tangent okay so 90 degree opposite side o p so square of the hypotenuse side which is equal to sum of the square of the other two side that is i'm writing like this okay now you see op square value we have a six square which is equal to oa value we have a four square plus and pa square okay now six square the value 36 and four square the value 16 if it's an opposite the minus 16 and we have here a pa square when you subtract this together i'm getting 20 square goes to opposite now it is root so square root of uh, 20 which is equal to pa let me show the root value for finding 20 so in a 20 what we have a perfect square now 4 4 is 16 okay 16 when you subtract this together i'm getting 4 so give the point and apply double zero and double this value double the numerator when you double what i'm getting here i'm getting like 8 so i want to give one new number here also one new number then what i'm getting let's see here okay so let me give a 5 if you are giving 5 now 8 5 is 40 so when i'm giving a 5 it will cross the 400 so i'm giving here 4 okay so 4 4s are 16 remaining 1 and 4 8s are 32 plus 1 33 i'm getting so when i'm subtracting here 4 and here uh, is 9 9 minus 3 uh, what is that uh, 6 uh, that's a 3 minus 0 i again we're getting 64 we kept already a point so double zero you can give if we double this again this is 8 okay this is a 8 again 8 that's it so here i want to give one new number i want to give the same number here also when you multiply this together it will below 64 or equal to 64 okay so eight eights are it will come 64 so if you give seven it will uh, less than that so seven or six you give better okay because 88 now that is nearest to 90 so it may cross uh, what is the 64 if you give a seven also you better you check the seven it is not possible we'll go by the six okay seven sevens are 49 remaining four and seven eights are 56 plus 460 remaining six we have and again 56 plus uh, 6 uh, we are getting 62 yeah it is less only so we are getting approximately 4.47 approximately 4.47 that we will write a 4.5 centimeter 4.5 centimeter is the pln because uh, one value we can able to add with the previous number so 4.5 
let's check this whether this answer is correct or wrong okay and take the ruler let's check this 4.5 whether we are getting or what you see here yeah we are getting 4.5 you see approximate answer we are getting 4.5 of course it is right of course it is right we are getting 4.5 yes we did it right so you please make a note this thing okay i hope you understand this you please make a note we'll go to next thanks for watching this video subscribe for getting more videos and press the bell icon for getting notification